More, get in there, Ross. Get in. Hey guys, welcome to Life on the Mold. It's Roscoe here. This uh, episode, we uh, remove the cabin off our yard trolley. I do a heap of prep and uh, and get into some laminating of the chamfer panel and the installation of a 20 mil foam on the chamfer panel, and then uh, break out the big guns with my steamroller, my uh, compression roller, and. Uh, and uh, rock the mould to its core to install the uh, the foam core. So plenty more to come. I just got the call from Greggy across the road. Um, gonna go and um, try and get this cab off this Echo um, for my uh, yacht trailer for the for the cat um, trolley that I'm making. Um, not sure what's ahead of me here today. Could be an interesting day. <laughs> Don't know. Gotta get the cabin off this thing. Hopefully it's a tilt cab. We can just grind it off. That's uh, what I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, we just found a little paper wasp in there. Some poor old uh, Gaz got a bit of a bite. Look at this cranky little coots. He's about to go me. Look at him. Whoa, go on, get us. Oh, there's more. There's millions of them. There's another big nest on the other side. Oh, we're going to have to smash these bastards because I hate them. Look at them. I'll try and get it in close before they bite me. See that big nest? There's a whacking nest there with about, oh, there's three or four nests. The whole thing's covered in nests. Thanks to Joanne. Last time you see Ross, his head not as swollen. Shit, I hate these mongrels. That full door. <laughs> More, get in there, Ross, get in! Bastards! Oh, they're going, eh? Hungry little mongrels. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you bastards! Oh, I'm such an environmentally conscious catamaran build this is. You're going to have David that. <laughs> I'm getting out of there for a minute. <laughs> right, I need to apologise to all the environmentally conscious people, but these, these bastards hurt. I mean, they will friggin' seriously cause you an injury. So I've killed the whole nest. Um, there's no way we can work on this with this bee bungles here. But, yeah, they're gone. Sorry, guys. Hate killing insects, but that's the way it is. They cop this? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Another one here. These ones are not happy, but you know, say goodbye. <laughs> Just paint them with more teen. <laughs> they're, they're pale white now. Oh, yeah. Another one there. I don't know how I didn't put my hand up under there when I was lifting it. Look at these, look. Freaking. I think I've got the whole lot. So after the massive wasp incident, we've uh, removed everything. I think. Here we go. We're going to have a bit of a hack. Start a fire. We're going to cut those hoses too, mate. Oh, something in that. Oh, is that all it is? Oh. Yesterday. Oh, uh, so we've got the got the steering linkage spline off here. That was a bit of a bastard. We're going to roll it back now and uh, whack the high ab or the forklift on it, take the pressure off it, and uh, hopefully get it off. Well, uh, we've got some movement, boys. This is good. Well, this will be good, Ross, if we get this out and open to work on it. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone in it. No, I won't be till next year because I'm six to 12 months behind. So the logistics continue. We're going to have to use this fork to hold this up while we get these uh, big springs off. I've taken all the bolts on here on this levering pin. And, uh, we'll get this uh, this burnout Subaru that apparently uh, was used in a robbery not so long ago. So it's a nice old Impreza. It's been torched. Whoa! We'll move this girl out of the road. Here we go. Beautiful! Oh, we've got all the pins out. It's a job and a half. 
It's taken us three hours to get this stage, but we're about to lift him off. Thank Christ for that. Film it all, mate. Yeah. Gotta do it all. Mate, look at that. She's off. Sensational. Oh, hang on, there's one cable. It's the earth wire. I'll go and swing. Well done. Look at that, steering was clear, everything was clear. Good stuff. Awesome, mate. That's what I wanted. Take it up and put it on the boat. I've got a weld, I've got a grind, have you seen underneath it? I've got all RSJs, I've got to grind them out. Yeah. And uh... One mold dolly. Well, I'm here uh, about to start undoing the engine, I just got smashed by wasps again. Uh, there's a paper wasp nest underneath this uh, second bracket here not, not a good scene so i've just sprayed them and waiting for them to calm down a bit man they're lethal little shits that's one oh you bastard <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> Mate, Jesus, you got some wildlife in here, Greg. <laughs> Just got smashed by another wasp. Mate, that's my security. Mate, they are all brutal little pricks. You smell too good. So I've got all the bolts off it. Our engine mounts are free. Got this freaking stinking linky dude. Took me like an hour to get this undone because it's a bit uh, concealed. All right, so we're going to lift the motor out uh, with the uh, backup, hopefully. <laughs> Got Johnny on the job. <laughs> Trying to hide him. You don't like being on camera. Follow. Oh, don't know. Uh, don't know. That's a bit sketchy, Greggy. Holy shit, don't get near it, Johnny. Yep. We well, knew it. It'll get in underneath there. Put a bit a little bit of tension on it, a little bit. That's it, stand clear of it. Wait. Well, you lift, it's gonna burn. That's it, you got it. Get away from it, Johnny. There we go, be a ton of engine. Well done, Gregory! <laughs> Just gonna drive over. Job done. How's that? So I'd just like to talk you through the uh, process that's going on right here. This is uh, the Grit 30mm contour foam that I've uh, installed on the the, uh, the hull here. Um, because it's in 30mm chunks, um, it, you're unable to, to mitre cut it with a, with a skill saw or a, or a hand saw. Um, I, I had to adhere it to the hull surface and then come back uh, a day later after the uh, sea light adhesive um, compound had cured and then grind it back with a flat disc grinder. What I found uh, was the best method was an oscillating tool to start with which would get my um, my two to one uh, ratio or, or um, I guess you call it a chamfer and then I'd come back along with a flat disc grinder and, uh, and grind away the excess. Now it was one of the most um, uh, un most unpleasant sort of jobs that I'd done 
and uh, ultimately it was not a very pleasant situation because you were dealing with uh, airborne foam the whole time. I then moved on to uh, laminating the chamfer panel here. It had a further uh, layer of 1215 quad with another layer of 300 CSM uh, I'd coated on. You can see me here rolling it on and uh, those little strings that are hanging off the consolidating roller there uh, were enough to really drive you nuts. But um, the whole process was done in one day to ensure a hot coat. And uh, by hot coat, I mean that I was continually putting on hot um, uh, substrates and resins and, and ultimately I was over catalyzing the increasing the catalyst on the 300 CSM just prior to, uh, to gluing the foam on. So I hope that sort of makes it pretty clear. You can see here it was a pretty laborious day, but um, you know, it all, all worked really well. We got it down, or I got it down nice and neatly and uh, with absolutely no voids and uh, ready for the foam. So um, yeah, the foam came next, cutting and templating. That was a good three or four hours of work. And I decided at that time uh, to um, to put immediately uh, the foam onto the chamfer panel and then uh, roll it on and uh, this is the process here. It's been a big day. I've uh, laminated the entire chamfer panel three times, um, put on uh, about 40 feet of foam with uh, this bedding compound. And this stuff gets uh, catalyzed at 1.5% uh, to volume rather than uh, uh, size. So basically every sort of 500 mil of the stuff, or 500 grams of it, is only about 300. So you've got to work at your economies. But uh, we put it on with a tile spreader, or the tile trowel, bog it on, and uh, vibrated on with our roller. Now, uh, it's an interesting sort of join this because it's got a 30 mil joining a 20 mil. So I'll have to uh, leave about that much off the top of the chamfer panel here, and I'm going to have to sand that back and then integrate that 30 mil uh, foam in once I get the lamination done. So for now, uh, let's put on this last piece. Foam 20 mil foam core. You can see here it's not actually joining, but that's all going to come sanded off anyway. So I wanted to put it on and sand it off later on rather than, um, than cut it outside because then you know it's just easier to adjust once it's on. But uh, yeah, pretty much that's the chamfer panel done. Um, but the, the trick is to, the nice thing about this is a flat surface, so it's just, it's just stick it on, but get enough little, enough sort of uh, uh, vibration into it that it's gonna bed down nicely and then the glass holds it in place on the other side. So you don't have any like, adhesion problems. But uh, for now, we're gonna get that vibrating roll that I've got and, and just hammer it. So. Good. Well, there it is, guys. Um, I think you're getting the picture. 
uh, building a, a catamaran isn't just about building a catamaran, it's about uh, uh, aligning about 50 different projects and uh, yeah, they're certainly starting to clash. Um, look, there's never a dull moment on this job, it's, uh, there, there's plenty of stuff going on and uh, you know, I've got a number of projects that all have to align as I mentioned in the last video. Um, it was certainly a fun one this one we spent a bit of time on that old truck and uh, I'm just getting over all the all the stings from the wasps up my arms and uh, yeah I'm sorry about the swearing but you know that's just the way it is on the mould. Um, I'd like you to, uh, to like my videos if you like my videos and if you can subscribe to them that's even better because then I know that you're actually uh, you're enjoying them and uh, you know and if you you really want to know what it's like to build a boat you know watching me is uh, is a classic way of uh, of experiencing it with uh, in the words of my uh, most hated word the journey it is uh, certainly a lot of fun and uh, and there's plenty more to come guys i've got uh, thousands of episodes of this so get used to it there's more to come join me next time on life on the mold <laughs>